What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a simple crowd. Oh, <laughs> hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey. Thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all wanted to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us, and a chance to rest. get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. That's not what I mean. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait, what? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call a Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. <laughs> this is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. 
I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling Reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Edie. Up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest, you or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. what I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. <laughs> Baby Pajak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! <laughs> I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> now the party started. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Korra's den. Haven't been back there in a while. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate of attack. We should all be careful. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always haunts that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. 
Working with Shepard reminded me of my younger days, running with mercenaries, blowing things up with mercenaries, and occasionally sleeping with mercenaries. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. And three years later, here you are, drinking his alcohol through a straw. I'd call that progress. Something to look forward to, then. Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. <laughs> but you have no plans after Edie? Someone more... human? Uh, no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. Okay, I admit. When I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm uh, glad I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the Shadow Broker was a Shadow Boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. And that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish she could have had some. Shepard? So, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, Shepard gets me and Bryn into the council chambers. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Then comes the question. A hundred Volger. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. Commander? So Joker set you free, right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> I asked directions from that bot on the way here. Shepard? Commander? Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation is more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? So, do you have infiltration software that lets you fake being drunk? Yes, though it is rudimentary. The planned strategy was to avoid social situations where naturalism would come under scrutiny. I want to see it. You are seeing it now. Man, some Cerberus programmer phoned that one in. Hey, Shepard. 
50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? <laughs> Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. Trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> no. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Uh, no. Great work. Oh, good. Thanks. No. See? Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard. Thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war? Life-bearing worlds only. Uh, I'm going with Tarif. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarif and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes' law. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locked. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, Dr. Chop. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the Collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot.
great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. Is that a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader, my hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Hey, sweetheart. We never really talked about it. But you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy, like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. <laughs> you are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. Trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find someone else to be? No! No, no, no. I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive corps? 
Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herbed dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. So I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward? Awkward. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying... Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying... <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean... Check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I'll have you know that my physical conditioning is top rate. I mean it. Check me out. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by looking. Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come in. Just listen. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Come on, Ashley, check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush, induce him sit up. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. 
That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh, yeah? Here we go. Shot one. Oh, what the hell is that? Tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. I brought my own batch, bro. Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. That's not even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. Unless you want to give up? Nah, this is all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let out a few rounds off. I am sober enough. I will join you. Have fun. Try not to kill the neighbors. Cortez. <sighs> Give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going nowhere near the shooting range. Just make it stop. Yeah, I think we're done here. You again. I thought you were dead. You can't come in. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> this is the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still. What do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. Was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics, and given your orientation and interest in synthetics, we could we could stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No. No, 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 you can't even, no! Oh, okay, sure, send it my way. Oh. I'm pissed, but I'm not gonna let it ruin the party. Or should I say, we are not, right, Williams? Whoa, leave me out of this, hombre. More drinks, yes? Jacob. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fighter on completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and work much. Wow. Kinda makes me tear up a little. Kinda makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. No shit. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing. Despite everything Cerberus did to you, I find that extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> All right. I can live with that. We're not gonna hug or anything, are we? You wish. We could just talk. 
I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. I'd like to hear them. And then I could tell you about my... Jesse. Oh, Jesse was beautiful. Once you've experienced a love like that. Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. But also my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. <laughs> When you were younger, you ever just throw people around for fun? People? You know, people, things, stuff, pets, cars, whatever. Of course not. Oh yeah, all the time. drink so much they get sick on your floor. I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. Shepard? Hello, Shepard. Shepard! Hey, Shepard. No. I could stop bullets with my mind! You guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no, really. Okay? Okay. Back Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Jeff. Yes, E.D. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, E.D. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So we won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with him. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Woo! 
You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time? Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Captain on deck. Has he always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Weepers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> Good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, I can see that. It's okay, we're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Don't worry. This happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comforted. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. Really? You have them all memorized? 67. Holmium. Very reactive. Very magnetic. Turian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. 68. Erbium. Atomic weight, 167 and change. Nice. My turn. 69. <laughs> In your dreams. What? I don't get it. I'll explain it later. <laughs> it's thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Nerd! Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has the armor always been so blue? Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Nothing like a little gunfire to liven things up. I begin to understand why these celebrations exist. I approve. Are you having fun? Kind of. Excellent. Your dancing closely resembles Shepard's. A uh, low blow. You got it. Grunt, you okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep.
could not. Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. James, seriously? Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Check this out! Oh, pancreas? Very impressive. Your central nervous system is well coordinated given your inebriation. Looks like you're not the only dancing machine at this party. Am I right? Jeff. Yes, Edie. That was a very bad joke. I love you too, Edie. Commander! Commander? Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Who's here? Is it morning already? Good morning. I love watching you wake up. Let's see if anyone else is up. anything last night I don't suppose you need anything around here calibrated <laughs> yeah okay maybe I should just stop saying that word but only if Liara stops saying by the goddess was someone making tea I could use some tea Shepard good morning Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? Hey, you look like shit. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. 
I think I broke my head on something last night. Shepard? Mm, morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Nah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. Morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. I suppose it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. You may be right. But whatever happens, I know you'll see this through. And I'll be right there with you. <laughs> 